The United States is the largest producer of poultry meat in the world. This amounts to 17% of the global poultry production. China and Brazil are also big producers, but America's consumption of poultry and poultry products is huge. On average, Americans consume over 95 pounds of chicken and 280 eggs per person each year. This is more chicken consumed than anywhere else in the world. The U.S. poultry industry boasts nearly 520 million chickens and nearly 225 million turkeys in its inventory at any one time. But each year, it produces a staggering 8.5 billion broilers, almost 100 billion eggs, and 240 million turkeys. These numbers are huge, and poultry business in the U.S. is big business. But how does it work? Who are the farmers, and what are the profits like? Most of America's chickens are grown as broilers for the meat industry. Iowa, Ohio, and Indiana are the three states that produce the most chicken. In 2021, Iowa alone farmed 60 million chickens. When producing broilers, farmers usually buy in day-old chicks. These are nearly all housed indoors. They are fed chick crumb and growers pellets as they mature. The environment in which they are kept is monitored and controlled closely. Commercial farmers have designed their broiler units in the most efficient way possible. The heat is kept high so that the birds don't waste any energy on keeping warm. All energy is used on growth. The light-dark cycles are dictated by the farmer, with more light than dark, to encourage more time spent eating and therefore growing, and less time sleeping. Broilers can be packed into these units in their thousands. Some units house up to 40,000 birds. Legally, chickens are only required to have one to one and a half feet of space each. After about six weeks, the broilers will be fully grown. They will be shipped out of their housing and off for slaughter. This is an incredibly short time period for chickens to reach maximum weight. Pure breeds that are allowed to grow naturally typically take 20 weeks to grow to maturity. But in the commercial industry, farmers need to see a return on their investment. Setting up a broiler farm is very expensive due to the cost of the units themselves and the running cost required for the heating and lighting. Maximizing profits means maximizing growth and minimizing time. As well as broilers providing meat, laying hens provide large numbers of eggs. The United States is the second biggest producer of eggs in the world alongside India and behind China. In the 1940s and 50s, U.S. egg production was on the rise. Free range birds were replaced by caged birds. This allowed farmers to keep more hens, collect eggs easier, and kept waste material contained. However, animal welfare suffered as a result. Today, caged hens are all subjected to cramped conditions, but some have been given more space over the years and environmental enrichment. The majority of egg-laying hens in the U.S. are battery hens. This means that they are caged and are allocated the equivalent space of one piece of 8.5 by 11-inch paper. One grade up from this are barns, which house hundreds of chickens. They have slightly more space and are technically not caged birds, but they don't have access to sunlight, grass, or fresh air. Their environment is artificial, but there is some enrichment, such as perches and nest boxes. Only some free-range hens have the ability to touch grass and see sunlight. They sometimes have access to outdoor space, which enriches their lives massively. Iowa, Ohio, and Indiana produce the most eggs in the U.S., and consumers are becoming more aware and more concerned about the welfare of agricultural animals. There is a growing demand for cage-free poultry meat and eggs. In 2021, almost 30% of eggs produced in the U.S. were from cage-free hens. This percentage is likely to rise over the coming years as farmers try to fulfill the concerns and demands of their consumers. The majority of turkeys are also housed indoors in environmentally controlled sheds. They are also generally overcrowded with little enrichment for their needs. They typically take 14 to 18 weeks to reach slaughter weight. Minnesota, North Carolina, and Arkansas are America's biggest turkey producers. In America, poultry farmers are rarely completely independent. Only a handful of companies control the U.S. poultry market. This is largely dominated by two giants in the industry, Tyson Foods and JBS USA. They own most of the production line from the feed, the hatcheries, the transportation, and the slaughterhouses. They even pay for on-farm medical expenses. This gives the farmers very little say in what they do. Their job is to run their farms as efficiently as possible to make as much profit as possible. There have been concerns over the record-breaking profits made by these companies with little or no pay rise for the farmers themselves. 
The idea for companies to own poultry production in order to control it began in the 1960s. Big companies also owned the poultry farms as well as everything else in the supply chain. But it didn't take long for them to realize that farming is a big risk. Most of them found that the farm was the least profitable part of the whole supply chain and contracted out the farm. Since then, they have kept control of the other processes which gives them large profits with minimal risk. So why is North America so successful at producing poultry? The amount of chicken produced and consumed in the U.S. has been growing since the 1940s. It surpassed pork availability in 1996 and beef in 2010. The U.S. have become world leaders in poultry production due to a few factors. Firstly, they are able to grow the poultry feed themselves without the cost of importing it. This primarily consists of soybean protein and corn, which grows well in the States. Did you know we have a video about soybean production as well? You can watch it here. Secondly, they have some of the best genetically improved poultry in the world. They have managed to breed the most efficient birds in order to use as little feed as possible before the chickens or turkeys reach slaughter weight. These key factors, along with the public's growing desire for chicken meat, have caused the American poultry market to explode. It is hugely important to the economy of the country. The poultry industry provides employment for millions of people in North America. From farmers and processors to distributors and retailers, the popularity of such an affordable source of protein has seen poultry production rise significantly since the Second World War. At the time, most of the beef and pork was used for America's troops and allies. This was when poultry became popular in the United States as farmers saw a gap in the market and a potential to fill the nation's needs for a source of animal protein. Since then, there has been no stopping the rise in poultry production and consumption, in particular chicken. Sales of fresh chicken meat in the U.S. exceed $13 billion each year. Turkey exports amount to over 550 million pounds worth of meat. Over two-thirds of America's exported turkeys are shipped to Mexico. 20% of turkey that is exported globally comes from the U.S. This amounts to $287 million. The U.S. also exports a lot of its chicken. Over 7 billion pounds worth of broiler meat was exported from the States, which equates to almost $38 billion. There are monthly and yearly fluctuations in egg prices. In 2022, they reached a high of just over $5 per dozen and a low of $1.20. Farmers have blamed the avian flu outbreak for a rise in egg prices, but the margins they gained from this price inflation cannot be entirely down to the disease. The cost of feed and labor have risen over 2022 and into 2023, which all have a knock-on effect for what the consumer pays. Although poultry farming provides a valuable and relatively cheap protein source for millions of people, it is not without its criticism. In less economically developed countries, chickens are reared by small holders and subsistence farmers. In the U.S., however, it has turned into mass production where thousands of birds are reared in a single shed or a unit at a time. In just under 60 years, broiler production in the U.S. has shot up 1,400%. This incredible rise in production has seen the emergence of factory-style farms. The rise from 580 million broilers in the 1950s to over 9 billion today has resulted in a dramatic decrease in broiler producers. Small farms have been squeezed out to make way for the more efficient, more profitable super farms. And where chicken farming was once spread across one million nationwide farms, it now only resides in just 15 states. With such a rapid increase in production, environmental measures have struggled to keep up. Waste, which comprises mostly feces and soiled litter, is spread on surrounding fields as manure. If this is done excessively, then runoff from rainwater can make its way into nearby water systems. This can wreak havoc on water bodies and their ecosystems. If this is managed properly and animal density is limited, then the environmental impact can be minimized. Although these factory-style farms have grown through consumer demand, animal welfare and the environment have both suffered as a result. But there are ways of improving the lives of the animals that are grown to feed us, as well as protect the environment on which we all depend. If we farm in an environmentally and sustainable way, then we can go a long way to achieving this.